ambush, garrote, rupture, rupture, garrote. Should be a Crimson Tempest, but I did slice and dice. Crimson Tempest, get caustic spatter up, pop all my cooldowns. Okay, echoing reprimand here. Start hitting massive cleaves. Reapply T just for huge damage. I'm going to use Shiv here in a moment. Just going to put Crimson Tempest back up again. So hits, hit, sorry, not Shiv. I'm going to use Vanish to reapply my bleeds as those ruptures are starting to tick out now. So now I'm going to Garrote, Rupture again. Fan and Knives, Rupture, and a Garrote. Uh, and then we're just going to keep, make sure Caustic Spatter stays up. So you'll see that the, the green health bar means that I have Caustic Spatter up. If you're like me, you get bored easy and you like playing a bunch of different roles, a bunch of different classes, a bunch of different specs. I have probably eight or nine characters above level 70 and like three or four that are already level 80. The problem is it's hard to learn new classes. It takes a lot of time. We're no longer playing classic World of Warcraft where it's three button rotations. Even mages need to know 15 different buttons they need to press, which is crazy because if you're playing mage, you know your mage friends. They're used to just frostbolt, frostbolt, frostbolt. It is no longer that era, okay? So learning these new specs are difficult and time consuming. And that's why I'm here. And I had a lot of questions of people in my chat when I was streaming asking about what add-on I was using. And I sure a lot of you already know about this add-on because it's not exactly new revolutionary technology, but I think it's super beneficial because it saved me hours and hours and hours of in-game time when learning new classes, and that is Hikili. So we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Hikili, what it does, its best uses, its uh, times where it struggles, um, and just get right into it because we got a lot to cover. If you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. 99.9% .9 of my viewers are unsubscribed to the channel. So shout out to the 0.1% of y'all who watch the videos and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the love and support. But if you liked this content, please make sure to subscribe uh, because we got a lot more of videos very similar to this coming out. Um, so let's hop right back into it. So what is Hikili? And Hikili is essentially a priority helper add-on that makes recommendations several steps into the future, right? And it works by collecting information about the game's current state using a simulation craft-like action priority list. And that recommends the next ability to use, then it modifies the game state and repeats the cycle, making the next prediction. All DPS specs are currently supported, uh, and all tank specs are also currently supported. So you could download Hikili from uh, any of your, wherever you get your add-ons from. I use CurseForge, and that's just, easiest for me i assume that's what the majority you probably use um but it's a massively popular add-on uh 4.5 million downloads so just make sure to install the hikili add-on the hikili priority helper by hikili um and then we can hop straight into what it looks like in game and talk a little bit about why it's so beneficial especially for learning new classes so once you got hikili downloaded all you gotta do is go in the game and type slash hikili and that'll bring up the main menu, okay? So make sure this is enabled on the general tab. Um, and today we're gonna be focusing solely on the primary abilities, okay? There are a lot of other options when it comes to Hikili, um, whether that's going more in depth into your defensives, going in more depth into your AOE versus single target, which I think could be helpful, but I also view it more so as a crutch, okay? I think Hikili is super useful when learning a new class, when it comes to the bread and butter of that class. Simple rotation priorities, simple uh, when to use certain interrupts, what can be interrupted, um, when I should be using this over this, you know, something like for a Frosty K, making sure I'm officially using my runes, um, all of that I think is super beneficial to using Hikili because it's, it's, you could do all of that using Hikili on something like a dungeon or on something like a delve while also learning the, the character and learning the class. And I think that's super cool as opposed to sitting for an hour and a half on a training dummy watching a YouTube video of some guy walking through a rotation for this class, which I think can be both boring and difficult to remember, right? So this makes things a lot easier. So once it's on, you'll have your primary ready to go. You can adjust um, the, the icon sizes right here with your width and height. Um, and then you can just drag it around using your mouse, which is super beneficial, right? So once that's good, you'll see you have your, I'm using three abilities. You could do more or less depending on what you want. I found three to be the most efficient way to do this. Um, but once you have it, all you gotta do is go up, start attacking stuff, and you'll see it tells you what to do. It tells you exactly what you should be using. It has all your abilities there. It's got even your, this is my item. It knows to use my item here. 
You know, I think it's just a super cool way. It'll know if I'm an AOE. It'll know if I'm on a single target. It knows all of that for you. So it's a great way to learn your new class. It's a great way for me on Death Knight to use the class efficiently without running out of runes, making sure I'm using stuff like my ghoul, making sure I'm using all these, you know, minute and a half, two minute long cooldowns. It, it essentially forces you to need to use them. And it helps you learn the class significantly faster than if you were to just, again, go into a trading dummy and watch a video about rotation okay so this is why i think this is so important now there are additional things you can do on this add-on so if you go back to the main menu here is where you can pick your um you know just go to frost and make sure it's on frost dk priority position i just do default um and you could change this if you would like again i think once you're doing all of that it becomes more of um a crutch which I don't like. I don't want you to use it as a crutch. I want you to use it to learn new champs, new abilities, new classes, and new specs. Okay. Um, one of the things I would recommend that you could do if you're interested is um, there's a lot of abilities that you kind of want to save for boss fights. Um, so once you get the hang of it, you might want to choose some of these abilities as boss encounters only or disable it altogether if you don't want to use that ability in the first place. Um, you can do that through the abilities tab, right? Um, it also has different profiles where you could like import other people's profiles, um, which I think is super beneficial. So I'd recommend going and finding one of those if that's what you're interested in. But again, just doing the primary and sticking with that solely is, in my opinion, the best way to learn a new class. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It just rotates all the abilities that you need to be doing. Super cool, super efficient, super easy way to learn new classes. So that concludes our Hakili general basis and guide, right? Um, I think it's super beneficial for, again, if you're learning new classes, learning new specs, um, but it can easily become a crutch. I'm sure there are people who've been using Hakili for years now who, taking it away, would be unable to properly use their class. So I recommend using it as a learning tool, not as your, you know, end-all, be-all for using your specs. Again, you lose autonomy when using something like this because it doesn't see the full picture. As smart as it is and as helpful as it is, it, it's not the top of DPS. It does better than the GSE, but it is still, again, not the top of the DPS. It is missing bigger pictures. It's telling you to blow your cooldowns on non-boss encounters. Again, you can go into the settings and fix that, but... I like to use it as a learning tool when learning a new class, and I think it is wildly efficient and saves you a ton of time when learning these new specs. So I 100% recommend you go and use it. If you like this style of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any other comments, I go through and read them all, so comment below, um, and I'll see you guys next time.